I'm really excited about this baptism this morning. Last winter when we started our winter bridge course just a year ago, uh, a young man named Joel Baker came into my group, and not only has God rescued him and done an amazing work, he has also become a great friend. So let's welcome Joel Baker as he comes to share his testimony. Good morning. Having been raised in a Lutheran church, I consider myself as having being in good standing with God. I paid attention in class, I went to Sunday school, didn't pick fights, and tried to be friendly with everyone that I met. I figured that because God created me and allowed to make choices, allowed me to make choices, that any choice I made would be fine. My family and I stopped attending church when I was around the age of 10. Not having God as my light, I stumbled around in the darkness for the next 15 years, falling into pits such as laziness, drinking, womanizing, and worshiping false idols. I performed poorly in life and couldn't figure out why. In the early winter of 2017, I became friends with somebody special who invited me to go to the Covenant Fellowship's Christmas concert. I was so intrigued by how the church operated and preached the gospel that I decided to attend the Winter Bridge course. After, making, after asking many questions, I started to realize that what had been absent through all of my years of walking around in darkness was Christ. During the bridge, I recognized that I was sinful and that I needed God to save me through Christ's death. I'm so thankful for the wonderful support system. Where, where am I? The wonderful support system that I've found at Covenant Fellowship and forever grateful to the Lord God who rescued one of his lost sheep <clears throat> so that I would no longer be prey to the enemy. I declare to all of you that I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior who died for my sins, <coughs> sins and commit to follow him for the rest of my life. Joel, according to your profession of faith, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.